Hello guys, Mr. Benora here. I want to show you how you can use Google Drawings to use, or to create, I'm sorry, custom artwork for Google Form. So this purple space here is the area we're going to replace with my Google Drawing, with our Google Drawings. To change it, we go to our color palette and we select image. Once we've selected image, we can go to albums or upload photos. If I go to these photos here, notice these are grayed out. And that's because you can only use images between 800 and 200 by 200 pixels or 5,000 by 5,000 pixels in size. Now 5,000 by 5,000 pixels is a square and 800 by 200 is more of this long rectangular shape. So we're going to use that uh, 800 by 200 mark, but just to be uh, safe, we're going to go on, uh, we're going to double that and we'll do 1600 pixels by 400 pixels. So we go back to our Google drawing. This is not 1600 by 400 pixels. What we need to do in order to achieve 1600 by 400 pixels is go to file and page setup. Once we've selected page setup, we're going to flip from standard to custom and flip from inches to pixels. And the measurement that we wanted was 1600 by 400 pixels. Notice how now we have that nice long um, bar. And I'm gonna do really simple artwork just so you get a feel for this. I'll do this thing and we'll insert this thing Right, and then let's see. I'm gonna duplicate it. Now I have two. And we'll duplicate that again. Wanna make them uh, wanna make it so they're equal distance away from each other. Move that into the center. Alright, so now that is our real quick design. I'm going to actually call it real quick forms header. Now you should do something fancier than this. Okay, here we go. All right, now we'll go to file, download as, JPEG, and we'll go back to our form. We'll go to our color palette, Select the image, and we're going to upload photos. Select a photo from my computer, and hopefully in the downloads folder, we'll have our new artwork. Real quick forms header, JPEG. Okay, open. And now I have to do some cropping. Or do I? Yes, I do have to do some cropping because even that real quick one wasn't exactly what it needed to be. So that is something that you have to consider when you're working with Google Forms. Even if it says it'll fit what you want it to fit, it doesn't necessarily mean it will. My mouse is being very odd and sticky right now. So I can do that and select. And then it kind of looks like that. Now if I go to preview my live form, it's a little bit bigger. That's a little bit nicer. So basically what we're looking at is this whole area from that bottom of the triangle there and that part of that uh, rectangular shape and the tops of all my triangles are cut off. So I can make adjustments. We're gonna make it smaller like this. We're gonna center it like this. And we'll center it like that. So again, you're making adjustments based on what we've done so far. There's, see how we have the two red lines? That means it's perfectly in the center. File, download as, JPEG. That'll be real quick forms header one, which means it's the second one. I know that seems odd. We'll go back to our color palette. Choose an image from our computer. Again, we wait for the downloads. Select our new header, 
see if this gives us more to work with. And it does. Still a little weird there. Um, I have to drag all the way out. Once I've dragged all the way out, I click again, and that seems to be doing what I want it to do. And then I can put that rectangle around it, select. That's what it's looking like here, but if we preview the form, that's much nicer. All right, so that's how you guys can make a uh, header for Google Forms using Google uh, Drawings. Uh, it's not going to work perfectly the first time, but you get a feel for it. You know how to adjust. You can uh, group objects and make things really work nicely. You can build some nice custom headers for your Google Forms. You can also do this for uh, YouTube channels, website headers. Um, once you know how to adjust and customize the shape of one of our Google Drawings here, it makes it a really wonderful platform uh, for uh, exporting artwork to other platforms. Hope that was useful for you guys. Goodbye.